I unsuccessfully attempted to purchase the Jound Babesters, the Baby Nape and Jound Bape Stars, the iconic sneaker model from Bape. And um, yeah, man, no surprise again. Just the same old nonsense in it. Like maybe it's because you get when you get older or when you just start to have more disposable income these things start to annoy you more because you have the means to buy these things but you just can't there is no ability to buy them in like a calm um reasonable manner everything involves stress everything involves elevated heart rate everything involves sweaty palms setting reminders on your phone different flipping devices to use a phone on 3g a laptop on this a that on that like just nonsense games you have to play to get a hold of shoes that you want to pay top dollar for and if i'm not mistaken the retail price for these flipping jown babes was like 290 pounds i think in the us it was 320 or three three hundred dollars no for me three hundred dollars not cheap clearly not cheap now again i think the whole cheap the whole kind of price argument thing is hard to kind of decipher and go through because we don't really know the cost of the materials they keep they can tell us one thing they can tell us this you know it's tumbled leather and all the seams have been sealed and it's leather late they can tell us whatever but we don't know what the actual cost price of these materials are so whatever whatever the markup is whatever the markup is but then there's also a part of it where it makes me think like I get the feeling some people don't like you talking about prices and how much stuff costs in relation to pricing because somehow it, it doesn't matter when it clearly does especially if you're trying to sell us things a million times throughout the entire year which most sneaker companies do that's the thing it's not like they just drop one special shoe per year they're, they're dropping at least especially all the major brands at least each brand is dropping at least 50 what they will deem to be no, 50 let's say, let's say 20 to be fair at least 20 in a calendar year what they'll deem to be special shoes going to like the top kind of boutiques and whatnot the ones that garner the most attention or get the most clicks on hypebeast and high sobriety so if that's the case and you keep selling it to us for over 200 dollars how are we meant to have money to afford all of this stuff because even if you say oh cool there's not everyone not everyone is poor not everyone doesn't have a lot of money all right but if you want to appeal to the majority of people majority of sneaker fans who i guess are just regular folk like you or i you're gonna to have to be have to, you're gonna to have to have them priced at a way that they can afford and you're also gonna to have to have them be available in places that they can go and purchase them easily because it's not like people don't have the money to afford them or the ability to go and buy them they just can't do either so you can't go and buy them because they're in limited places or they've been backdoored and you can't pay for them anyway because either the frequency is too close together so sometimes they'll drop a sneak in the middle of the month on a february you don't get paid until the end of the month so you're pissed or you get paid weekly but then you have to splurge your whole week wage on a pair of shoes pissed like or you like just many many things just don't make any sense and it's just stressful it's just annoying it just pisses me off and i don't know what the solution is well i know what the solution is just make more but they refuse to make more and it feels like sneakerheads also enjoy the flipping the the torture they enjoy being miserable they enjoy sharing there's kind of a weird macabre um almost fatalistic thing that people actually enjoy sharing those emails you get from sneakers app saying you didn't get lucky or from end you didn't like there's nothing joyful about waking up logging in signing up for an email just for a raffle that isn't really a raffle because you have to pay for the shoes anyway like i mentioned a million times and then get an email telling you you can't purchase something that you got money to pay for because why just because like i don't get it any any bit of tech that exists in the world you can purchase if you want to, to to buy a brand new eames free set you could go and purchase that right now you want a piece of art from you know takashi murakami you can go get that if you got the money you want daniel Arsham to build you a table if you got the money you can go get that right now but for some reason you can get an audience in front of fucking beyonce if you wanted to if you've got the money for uh, beyonce you could book her to perform at your 16th birthday but for whatever reason there's not enough flipping babeses for to supply demand like how does that make any sense and why is that allowed like why do people kind of permit that why do people allow that and don't kick up a fuss i don't really know why it's so frustrating it really really is man and then, and then you get all these wild lads sharing pictures of themselves with the shoes that they're probably never gonna wear it's just oh just 
drives me nuts, man. They probably are going to wear them. I'm just hating. But you know what I mean. Like, even the embossing on the back of the hill looks fucking sick. I love them. I really, really do. Obviously, the only other solution to kind of make up for this would just go get a pure a pair of pure platinum Air Force Ones, right? That are the same as this, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw them here on that tweet, right? Is it here? Just get a pair of these. <laughs> and this will make up for not having not having the ability to be able to flip and purchase the vapes. That'll be the only thing that I'll make them. But again, knowing sneakerheads, they're probably gonna go out and buy these all dead stock and inflate the prices of these artificially because no one's gonna be able to get no one was able to get a pair of the vapes. That's the annoying part of it. All of it is annoying, you yeah? know? That's the kind of original colour we want. But the only thing that's could give me some solace is that these sneaker brands have been taking such they've been taking a piss out of us so much over the years it feels like they've flooded the scene or the industry or the market with too many shoes and there's not enough people out there to buy them or to wear them and not everything not everything kind of deserves to be in somebody's sneaker collection especially if you want to build something that's a, you want to build up a collection that's somewhat um that might have a high resale value in the future right not every shoe's going to hold their value not every shoe's worth even bothering to collect so because of that, the market's oversaturated with shoes. You saw it happen a lot with the Patera Max ones. You know they're incredibly good designed with the wave, with the wave mud guard or whatnot. But they were only going for a couple of hundred more than the flipping retail. And if again, if you're somebody that had the disposable income and you just wanted the shoes to wear, being able to just sit at home and in the comfort of your own time, be able to just buy them when you want for two hundred pound more, I'll take that all day long. So that's the only thing I can see that's a kind of um, silver lining to this. Um, nonsense sneaker culture that exists at the moment where if i check my size on here on StockX, it says listed that the size 11s are 517 right at the moment um in terms of uh, being able to put in a bid so let's say anywhere between 517 and 600 but let's say 517 510 520 that's not too bad if they if they retail that flipping 300 or 290 that's not too shabby to be able to pay 517 and actually get a pair of them now obviously as the time progresses and people start buying more pairs and there's less and less available in the market those sort of prices won't be the same so they might increase or decrease a bit but they'll probably hover around the 400s to the five 600s in that kind of range which isn't too bad if you want to pay for resale but if you don't have the money to afford the resale price again you just missed out on them and that's it which is weird because i think in a way this is essentially the reason why reps are so popular now people complain or sneakers oh you ain't fake so it's not the real thing it's like yeah the reason why they're having to do that or even people like myself that wants to go and venture into that world is because i have the money i want to purchase this stuff and i can't buy it legitimately so if i want to purchase the thing and i actually like the shoe for what it is then i'll just go buy the rep i don't have any problem with doing so and i think a lot of people are doing i think the people that are doing it now are doing even worse because it's not like they came from a sneaker collection background that i have where i can definitely say i earned my stripes i've done my 100 000 fucking hours queuing outside of stores buying stuff online reselling it swapping this doing that being on forums i've done all that stuff right so if, maybe i could say now okay cool i'm not bothering with doing all the games and retweeting and liking comments so i'd much rather either try to pay the resale or if i can't get the rep but there's now kids coming up who are building their entire sneaker collection off of reps which obviously isn't quote unquote supporting the sneaker industry or the community there is no community because it's just big corporations selling you fucking overpriced sneakers but we move but essentially all of that money is kind of existing outside of the street outside of the whatever streetwear sneaker ecosystem it's going elsewhere and they're probably not engaging as much with us i don't know it just feels like there's there's a there's there's um, loads of different scenes operating at the same time there's a scenes that exist where people are just basically clout demons they're trying to get friendly with people that work in stores they're always begging for discounts they're always thanking their plug on social media there's the people that just want to wear cool shoes to impress girls which is a small group but there is a group that like that exists there's a group out there that only want to wear cool kicks so they can impress other dudes that's a very big group of people i definitely knew those guys coming up there's a group of people that just want to resell and post pictures of them sitting on boxes of jordan ones like there's so many different segmenting groups and that's mostly i feel like because the corporations at the top the big sports brands don't really care about us it's as consumers they're just trying to sell us stuff you know fleece us as much as they can paint everything gold and tell you it's like paint everything in gold paint and let you know and kind of lie to you that it is gold when it clearly isn't 
and just fuck up the entire market, man. It just, honestly, it really did not annoy me this weekend. I shouldn't have been surprised anyway, but it was a real big annoyance. It's like, I've got money ready. I'm ready to go. I don't mind paying your exorbitant flipping shipping prices. Just give me the option to buy it. And still, I couldn't buy it. So again, um, big up these men, innit? Big up these men for just, you know, disappointing me all the time. Um, I shouldn't really be disappointed because I should learn my lesson by now, but it is still annoying to not have the ability to purchase stuff that you clearly have the money to purchase. But, you know, we move in it. We have to move.